it's me, Piggy. And today we're going to tell you about a tale about a little boy who was chasing his dreams, even though he's in his 20s. It all started out with the parents and their mansion and their two cars. And that family loves Corvettes. So let's see what happens. I just don't understand why our kid is in, our tw is in his 20s and he still hasn't moved out of the house. Well, we got to give him some time. Hey, guys, I'm just visiting. I know I got a lot of money and I'm rich and I'm his brother. So how's it going down there with him? Not well. He still hasn't moved out yet. He keeps forgetting to feed our pet turtle. Turtles. There's two babies in there. Son, where have you been? Uh, downstairs, taking a nap. We're worried about you, son. Your mom and I have decided that it's best for you that if you don't get a job by tomorrow, we're going to have to kick you out of the house. Kick me out of the house? What? This isn't fair, son. Don't forget to feed the turtles. I won't, Dad. Now, at this point, it didn't look too good for the kid. But right here is when everything changed. So then he set off to go and try to find a job. This wasn't going to be easy, and he searched all over town. But eventually, he found something. He was searching all over town. But eventually, he found something really cool. Let's see what he did find. Hello. How can I help you? Well, I was wondering if there's a job available. Well, yeah, we actually do need a truck driver. Well, perfect. How much, is an, how much do we make an hour? Uh, $7 an hour starting at 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Well, when do I start? Tomorrow. All right, see you later. I can't believe it. My parents are going to be thrilled. I just got a job. So he got a job at the ice cream truck. Dad, you'll never believe it. You'll never believe it. I got a job at the ice cream truck. Really, son? It starts tomorrow at 7. Perfect. And it's $7 an hour. That's awesome. Can you believe it? I'm going to be working. A couple months fit. later. Boy, was that a lot of work. I guess I better be heading home now. Wait a second, I got something to give you. Really? Here's your paycheck. Ooh, thanks. And guess what? You're getting a 30 cent raise next time you work. Thank you so much. Man, I've got so much money and I don't know what to do with it all. I'm gonna head to the car dealership and get myself a car. Hey, buddy. Um, I've been looking for some cars here at the car dealership, and uh, I didn't see many. How many do you got here? Well, only the two. Would you like to check them out? Sure, I got enough money. Now, the first one was the Dodge Demon. The Dodge Demon was a really cool one, but it might have been out of his price range because it was $46,000, and he didn't have... Nearly that much. But the second car he checked out was a nice C3 Vet Stingray. It was a real nice car. Eight stud, two seater. Real nice car. And it was only $21,000. Well, sir, I don't have enough money for the Demon, but I'd really like this Corvette. Well, it's yours for twenty-one grand. Sure. Cha-ching! Looky here, my new car. This is a nice car. I'm gonna drive all the way home and show my parents. The drive wasn't that long, and it's a nice car. Beep beep. Wait a second. Who could that be? Well, would you look at that? What is that? Well, it's my new rod. It's a C3 Vet. Wait a second, how could you afford this? Well, I bought it. How? Well, I got some money that I owned and got it. 
Son, as nice as this car is, I'm angry at you. You spent all your money on this Corvette. And now how are you going to buy a house? He felt bad, and he drove off. He ended up at the junkyard. He bought about $3,000 worth of pieces, and then he got to work. Voila, it is done. This magnificent car can push. It drives, it flies, and it's a boat. The magnificent. But his parents didn't think so. His parents went off searching for him. And finally, they found him. Wait a second. His car's here, but where is he? A couple minutes later, he showed up. Son, where were you? I was out test driving my car. No, I meant, where were you this entire month? Building the car. Look, I'll sell it. You better sell it right now. I'm angry at you, boy. I finally sold it for $26,000. So he drove to the dealership, this car, and he looked at the other car. And he said, I want to sell this car and buy this car. So it happened. He now had the demon. But out of nowhere, all sorts of different cars started showing up. What are they doing here? Son, we knew that you needed some money to get a house, so we set up a tournament, a racing tournament. It's 20 grand to get in. You want in? Sure. Now, the matchups were like this. The, G the demon and the Ford GT were racing, and the demon won. The C8R and the ZL1 raced, and the C8R won. A triple, and then a triple threat match happened right here. And the 4GT won. Then the Demon and the GT faced off, and the Demon won. Then it was the finals. It was the son, the Demon, versus the dad, the C8R. This was news. But it pulled out as the kid won. I got a hundred grand. I got a hundred grand. They got some celebratory ice cream. Here we go. Woo! Jordan, we can't do it twice. Is it going fast? Woo! Nice! And so that was the end of the ride. That's all, folks. Wait a second! No, it's not! I forgot to feed the turtles! Oh, jeez, my dad's going to yell at me.